I am starting new. Now, let me explain. I recently watched Dan Tidium's video and he has a point. Minecraft has gotten pretty boring recently, even with the new update right around the corner, and I'm personally getting bored of mods in general. They're all just the same thing recycled, and there's not much new content anymore, it's just forwarding to the newer version. So, I have decided to join Dan on his little extravagant adventures in survival by creating my own survival world. No hardcore, just straight Minecraft survival. I completely agree with what he wanted to do here, and so I'm going to be doing the same. But, I'm going to do some own stuff for my own channel on here. First things first, I am going to make this a long series. Even if it does not perform well, I want to get to at least 500 episodes. I know it's a lengthy task, but I'm willing to do it. Now, for the second thing on the list. At episode 250, I'm going to be doing a face reveal. Now, this is a big thing for my channel since I've been faceless up to this point, but I think I'm finally willing to put my face out there, so there's a face to the name. And for the third thing, I'm going to be doing the same thing as Dan. These are going to be pretty long episodes because I just want to chill in Minecraft, have some fun, record it, and post it out there for you guys to watch my silly, goofy adventures on. So if you do end up liking the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get right into the survival world. Just like every single survival playthrough, we gotta break a tree. Um, I don't want to break a tall tree, I don't want to stay here forever. Let's break this one. This is the chosen one. This will be the tree just like that we have we have achieved minecraft's first step in progression i was looking around a little bit and i saw this nice little stone mountain with some coal on it so i'm going to take my freshly acquired logs and i'm going to make me some tools oh boy how do i get up this mountain there we go one two three okay now i can immediately throw this pickaxe away it does not need it anymore that is the lifespan of a wooden pickaxe. Unless you're like me and sometimes use them for fuel. But I'm just crazy like that. That's good. Uh, coal, coal is great. I never have the stuff when I need it. So it's good to get it now. Because I know for sure I'm going to need it in the future. I made it to the top of this hill because it was easier to get the coal. Which I still need to mine the rest of that coal. But I spotted at the corner of my eye. A village. Now... This is a great start. Uh, I think I'm going to just live right outside the village. I don't think I'll live in it. I might knock down this area here because it looks pretty flat. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. This whole adventure brought me up to these two little coal veins here. And they only had four coal total. All the coal I found behind dirt gave me more. That is crazy. But let's, let's, let's go head over to that village. I'm going to try and not die on my way down oh there we go sustenance even though i'm about ready to get a lot of bread i'm pretty sure i need to regenerate from that fall my ankles hurt oh there we go oh man this is a little further than i thought it would be oh no never mind Let's go through and pillage the village. Just like I thought. Bread, emeralds, and potatoes. I can start a potato farm. And let's... I'll keep the blue bed unless they have a yellow one. For reasons. I like the color yellow, if you could not tell. If you're new here. Um, I am... I have the color yellow for everything that I do. Even outside of YouTube. I just... It's yellow, man. Especially like that Minecraft orange yellow that you see all over my skin. That's my... Oh my goodness! We'll outrule the blue bed. It'll outrule the blue bed. Oh, hello, Jess. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot to do something. Um, but the snap of my finger. You will... No, come back here. Come, come back. Oh, it's turning nighttime. At the snap of my finger, Jess, you will change. Can you get back here and stop? Je Jess! You know what? I'm going to a different one. You don't want to be transformed. Tegan. Or Te Tegan. I don't know how to pronounce your name. You will be changed at the snap of my fingers. I hope you feel better about your new, uh, your new feeling. I heard a baby zombie. Okay, I think it's time to sleep. Let me plunder this building. 
Oh my, that's almost a full set of armor. What? When were villages ever this good? We got bogeys. Ah, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. No, let me out. I got trapped. I got trapped. Hide. Eat. That was an adventure. Hello, Gerald. Is that your name? Yeah, Gerald. Want some bread? No? Okay. So, I got quite a bit of loot. So I think that I'm good to go build a little starter base in the area I talked about earlier. I'm gonna go build a little starter base and then we will go straight to mining because we need resources pretty bad. I still think this is a great area to build, so let me just, boom, just like that, I have cleared the, we are not going to talk about how long that took me. I'm going to build a chest, because now I can just declutter my inventory. I know, something not a lot of people do. I also made an iron pickaxe by complete accident, but I have one now. Let's build a tiny little base. So I was thinking just going for kind of a basic design on the base. Now I do tend to overthink my bases a little. So uh, we're going to see what happens here. Uh, I'm going to preemptively make pressure plates because I always forget to add them. I was thinking of just building a tiny little house around this area here. So let me collect all the stuff off the ground so it's out of the way. I want my door facing towards the village, so let's build a little door. Let's go right here. Let me go grab some dirt, because this this little puddle is gonna get kind of annoying. And it's already turning nighttime. Crap! I spent I spent so long doing this. I should probably make a shovel for this, but eh, I'll I'll be fine. I'll be I'll be fine. Just like that, nighty night is over. Okay, back to what I was doing. I want a double door, because I want to be fancy. And then I want this wall to extend out. I'm gonna make a shovel. I, I gotta I got I gotta make a shovel. I'm gonna be breaking so much dirt. I'm just gonna make an iron shovel. And just like that, the mess is gone, and I can actually build a design for my house. Okay, let's do it this way. One, so there's going to be there, then window, 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 blank, there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'll go back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And across. So I line up with that one. And I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which that should just lead us here. Now this will be too low of a roof, so I will add one across. And this one will go all the way along the house like this. Okay, we got a basic framework of the house done. Good start. Now it's time to turn about, I'll do half of them into planks because I don't want to use all my wood immediately into this. And just like this, we got, oh, I missed one. Silly me. Okay. And the floor. Yes, the floor. I need to go get cobblestone for that because I have an idea for the floor. So I'm going to go mine some cobblestone. Now I think that's enough cobble for what I'm doing, uh, at least for what my idea was. 
so now I got to work on my floor, so let's... I'm glad I made the shovel now, because I knew I was going to have to break this. Okay, so my idea for the floor plan... Let's get that chicken out of here. Let's do kind of a concentric design. So, if you don't know what concentric means, it means a circle in a circle, and they're perfectly aligned. So I guess parallel, but circular. So, what I'm going to do is... Do two layers of wood throughout the corners. Like that. Which means that the cobble will have to go down the middle. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more cobble. I've done this floor design quite a few times, but I've never had spruce wood right out the start, so I'm kind of excited for this. I need to go make more wood. Wow. Man, these bases always eat freaking material. No matter how much I try and conserve my material, it always just gets eaten. But it will be worth it in the long run, because I will have a house. And for the roof, I'm going to pull a big brain here. Because I seem to be running low on materials. No, not all the wood. That wood. There we go. And I will do this. Give it a nice little log accent on the top. Hey, give me more headroom. You know... A little spacey, nice little home. I'll be able to do some some weird things. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure bobs don't spawn on half slabs, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's grab this. I might have to use the rest of my... I might have to use all my wood. I mined like a little chunk of a forest and it still wasn't enough wood for my little shack. Just like that, the base home is done. I still have to make torches and such, but I'm at a good position for this home right now. Uh, let's make some torches for it. 4, 8, 16, 32 torches. Okay. Oh, and it's turning nighttime. Actually, let me sleep before mobs spawn, because then I don't have to deal with them while I'm trying to do things. Nighty night. Ah, it is the morn. All right. Torch time. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then I'll go in one on each of these sides. Now this house is very well lit. I will change out some of the torches later for other things, but for now it's great. So I'm just going to get the rest of this base done, and I'll just snap back. And just like that, I have finished the starter base for this world. Now I got all my utilities over here, got all my storage and sleepy over here, and now I think I'm ready to go try and find a mine, so I will take my sword, my iron pickaxe. Actually, I have wood. Two, three, four, five, six... I can! I can make a shield. I'm going to do that because skeletons are the bane of my existence if you've never watched my content before. Uh, skeletons are not nice to me. Uh, I, ugh, I keep forgetting. I know for a fact I will need spare food. So I will take this. And I will take... Where are they? There they are. Torches. If I find a cave, I want to clear the cave. And I know where a cave is, so I'm going to go check it out. I killed the creeper that was kind of camping the entrance to the cave, but there is indeed a cave here. Oh, there's a nice cave here. Run. Ow. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Let's, let's start clearing out the cave. Boom. Oh, boy, I got his bow. Oh, this is, this is going to be great. Not seeing many ores, but copper here. So I might have to go down the other cave that I saw. Okay, let's head down the depths. Excuse me, Mr. Iron Golem. I'm really hoping this isn't just a piece of garbage. So it's just a piece of garbage. But there's lots of coal, so I will take that. 
but I really want to find iron, which I'm not finding here. Well, that was truly a disappointment. Now I gotta go look for another cave, because this one, not gonna lie, is kinda, kinda, kinda stinky. It's not a good cave. Oh my goodness, now that's, that's a coal vein. Holy crap, this is what I need. Preferably an iron. Diamonds would do. Um, wow, okay. That's a, this is a big coal vein. Should probably stop using my iron pickaxe, but... All I'm gonna mine with it's diamonds anyway. So might as well use it. Okay. Uh, uh... Off to find a cave, I guess. Me no likey. But that also sounds like it's below me. Which means there's another cave. There might be a cave below me, actually. More coal. The skeleton's getting louder. Where is this cave? You know what? I'm gonna find this cave and be back, I guess. I just almost died, but I found it. I, f I found it. Um, holy crap. I keep hearing a skeleton. This isn't even the, s the place I was trying to find. I was trying to find where the skeleton was. But you know what? I will- Ah! It is down there! Why is it so loud? That is weird. Okay. Let's make a staircase in the wall. I need to get iron. I see iron. We're going. We're going to get that iron. What's that other skeleton? You know what, creepers? Do it. Do it, creepers. There we go. Ah, there's another one of you. Why is there so many of you? Oh, man. I'm going to have to clear water. This is... This is torture. I think like there's a lot more mobs on the other side of this wall. I guess it sounds like there's a lot of zombies. That's because there is. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, big iron, big iron, big iron. Yes! I will take it. Holy crap, this, this is just like the coal vein, but iron. It's what I wanted. Oh yeah. It's so dark, but there's progress. I didn't bring sticks with me, crap. Let me just grab more coal while I'm here, because I know I'm going to need coal. I can't see what's what. I knew I saw more coal. There we go. I've gotten quite a bit of coal and iron. Uh, ooh, redstone. Ooh. Iron. It's nice as this cave is mostly lit up for me because of the berries. So, I'm not in so much danger. I have to figure out how to get back up. That's a story for another time. Getting all the iron. Okay. Ooh, does this go down? Oh, this goes down a deep slate. Yes! Oh, more iron! Gib, 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 gib. Yes. Beautiful. More iron. Heck yeah. I will take all the iron that I can. My pickaxe is about to break. Which is going to be very problematic because I have to get back up. I don't think I'll find diamonds in my time here. It'd be really nice if I did. Holy crap. Holy crap! That's a cave. 
tons of iron. Axolotl! We got axolotls, let's go. Might have to kidnap me some of those. I mean, harvest me some of the. I don't know, what is it called when you catch it in a bucket? I always call it kidnapping. Because you can't really tame an axolotl. Ooh. I will mind that. Because I can do this. That's the equivalent of nine ores right there. Tons of iron down here. I will I will never run out of iron down here. This is perfect. Ah, I missed. I'm just on the hunt for diamonds. That's all I'm that's all I'm on the hunt for right now, because I'm almost my pickaxe is almost broken. So much iron. Oh boy. <gasps> diamonds! I see them! We have achieved diamonds! Is that netherrack? What? There must be a ruined portal there. That's the only way that can be there, right? One. Oh! Two. Three. Oh my! What is this? I am down for this. That was nine diamonds. Holy crap. Man, diamonds. Oh. I never get this lucky in caves like this. Now, the real question is this netherrack? I swear this is netherrack. Why is there netherrack? Is there a ruined portal right above me? I think there is. Ha! Ah, don't get suffocated. Gotta be a ruined portal here, right? Oh, there is! Since when did they spawn in the middle of. I gotta make sure there's no lava. When do they spawn in the middle of the freaking cave systems like this? <gasps> A pickaxe! I can escape! I'll take some more obsidian. Um. This is truly a specimen. Uh, put it that way. Need to go back up the caves. I'll come back for the iron later when I need it, because I do need iron, but right now, not a top priority anymore. Top priority is getting home. So much iron. No. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh! I can make a diamond pickaxe right now and keep exploring. Bad zombies. Bad zombies. You naughty. You naughty. Let me eat my bread. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there we go. Let me just escape. Cause I want the diamonds and I don't want the hassle of dealing with zombies. We got we got wood. Can make a diamond pickaxe, and we aren't even that far in. I've already got a diamond pickaxe. This is this is great. I can mine all the iron I see. I should go backtrack. Cause there's so much iron here. Holy crap! Oh my goodness! I'm never gonna. I I'm not gonna say never, cause I know I'm gonna need iron at some point again. But man, this is like I don't want to waste my pickaxe. Can you break? It's just slow enough. There we go. We got all of it. I know I've seen tons of iron this way. There's some gold. I don't need gold right now. Ooh! Give me all the iron. I am being greedy. Because I have the diamonds for more pickaxes, but I know my luck with iron will not last this long. Two? That is so much iron. Oh, I'm happy. I got... A stack and a half of iron. Plus more. I think this will suffice for now. I do want to make a roller coaster and all that crap, so I might need iron, but right now. Oh my goodness, more diamonds! Holy crap, this cave is. Oh, I went from not liking this cave to really liking this cave. Boom. Boom. Oh, three vein. Let's go. Thought I just saw more diamonds, but I think it was just water. Okay, and I think. I should go home and then explore this mineshaft. 
for the fact I might lose everything in my inventory, and I don't want that. <laughs> and I'm not installing any mods for that, so. I'm gonna dig straight up and see where this takes me, and hopefully it's not death. I should probably be digging two the whole way, but... Eh. Eh. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Well, I'll get back to you guys when I get back home. So, the pillar itself actually was not that far from my home at all. It's just across the lake, so it's accessible. I just have to make ladders now, which requires more wood, which I don't have at the moment. Oh, I have one here. I'll, I'll take it. So, I'm going to dump all my blocks really quick. Um, I almost have enough for a nether portal, which is nice. And then I'll go through and here, I'll split this in half and half. So when I go to my furnace, I can just split my coal evenly. And while I'm gone working on this, I should get my iron started. Uh, okay, so let's get this iron started. So if I split 32, hold up. I want to get this half and half just for efficiency's sake. So one of them is going to have one extra iron, but that is all as A-OK -okay with me. And now we sleep. I see the stars. Thank you. Nom 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 nom. So, while I was recording, I ran out of storage and it crashed my game. And it... It was weird, so it spawned me inside my pillar when I reloaded it. I'm glad I didn't lose progress, but wow. But it just, it doesn't make sense how the, how me running out of, uh, I guess because I was writing memory by picking up wood. I guess it does make sense, but I've recovered. I didn't fully lose my world, so I'm not, I'm not sad. I am kind of annoyed I had to go spend an hour or two cleaning my computer up. Because apparently I had a bunch of files I thought I uninstalled. But I need to probably uh, do more stuff near the village once I get a home situated. Because I need to meet the locals. Let me craft some ladders. Because I don't even think this will be enough ladders to be honest. We must approach the pillar. I put moss on the top so it was bright. The bright green in the dark green area. I also went through and made it so I could put ladders on it. You can see, there's a mine shaft down there. I'm not going to enjoy this at all. Oh, it was just not enough. Ow! I figured since I'm down here, I might as well just craft the rest of the ladders. And that also means I can stay down here while... Oh, hi, zombie. That also means I can stay down here while I am finishing up the ladder. The perfect amount of ladders. Oh, that was great. I don't have any torches. <gasps> Minecart. I'll take a name tag. Oh, hey, torches. There's two spider spawners here. Crap, and the baby zombie's protecting one of them. Ow. Come on. There we go. What? I guess the world having that issue has fully reset my achievements. I can hear the cave spiders. And I got rid of the spawner. I know I could use that for infinite string, but there's better ways. Huh, you run funny. So if I need string, I know where string is. This is perfect. There's more stuff down there. Looks like it could be worth my time. Do this, and then I'll head down this way, because I saw more mine shaft down this way. Oh, there's a lot more mine shaft. Okay. Oh, mine car. Oh, that's the one I found already. I should probably be tracking my progress throughout the mine shaft. Up. Oh, oh, I missed that jump. Oh, a mob spawner. Well, dungeon. I don't know what you call them. 
Really? Right above the chest. That was lucky and annoying at the same time. Horse armor! And a bucket. I'll take the bucket. Another bucket. Yeah, I definitely think my save data got corrupted. Wow, that way was stupid. This mine shaft is kind of stupid. But now I have a quick way down here, so it's not the worst. Can I climb up this? No. I have to hardcore parkour my way across. I want to use this, though. Aha! Well, I have achieved a mine shaft. And a ton of iron. There's gold. I've gotten diamonds. Tons of glow berries. I mean, it's not a bad spot. I, I got really lucky with this spawn. I am... I feel like this is meant to be. I never get good spawns. You can waterlog ladders now. You'll learn something every day. I got it home just in time for the bedtime. Stars outside. Wait for the stars to hit about here. Then once the stars hit about here, you can go to sleep. Yeah, I went too early. Come on. Now you're halfway capacitated. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, there's only... I guess I could go explore the village now. I'm also going to keep the horse stuff on me in case I find one. Because who knows? I might find a horse. Sugar cane. I can make a farm out of that. Good starts, good starts. I've already gotten this one. Okay. We have two iron golems now, and both of them are trapped in the cave. I hear the villagers. Hello, Hung and Gerald. Gerald, you kind of seem like the type of uh, villager I could get along with. Hung, on the other hand. Yeah, I kind of figured as such. All right, I see. I see how you are. Come back here. Come back here. You, who are you? It's Tegan again. Hello. You're the one who. You're the same as all the other weaponsmiths. You're also the one who never looked at me. That was very rude. This is a small village. Now that I actually go through and like wander about, that's pretty. It's pretty tiny. There's the ice spikes where I spawned, and then I believe that was a snow mountain. Uh, more snow. More snow. Dang. Wow, this was very... The spawn's good. But also not so good. Here, let me just... Oh, yeah. This is more like it. Hey, look, I can see my home now. Uh, let's see. It looks like spruce and ice, spruce and ice. There's the pillar. More ice. Ice, 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 spruce. Ocean. More, more spruce, more spruce, more spruce. Ooh. 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 That's really far away. It's just spruce and snow the entire way. I'm gonna go head over there. And I'll uh, let you guys know what I find on my way. Guys, I was on my way and I found dogs. All my bones are at home. Uh, I guess I'm in a biome where dogs spawn a lot. I will be back for the puppies. Do not worry. The puppies will remain with us. Well... I have made it. That wasn't too long of a walk, but it's definitely not one that I want to take again. Is this biome also completely surrounded by just normal spruce forest? I think it is. Because I see more that way. Oh, it spreads. Oh, it goes on. I don't even have large biomes enabled. This new terrain generation is something else. I am in... Complete and utter awe at what I'm witnessing. 
At least now I know I will have plenty of wood for my projects. But at the same time... Oh! Oh, I see a house! It's a village! I have arrived in the foreign lands. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, oh, Marcel! We got a horse! Empty hand. Come on. Tame the horse. Tame the horse. Come on. No. Horsey, come back. Be my friend. No, be my friend. Yay! I just wanted to see if there was any biome near me that wasn't spruce forest. But there's not, so... That's gonna be a whole nother episode of exploration, because, oh my goodness, it's gonna take me forever. Also, if you make it to this point in the video, comment what you want me to name the horse. What shall the horse's name be? Because it's a very important decision that we all agree unanimously on a name. Or I'll just go randomly pick a comment, and if there's only one, that comment I guess will be the name. Oh, I am lost. I've lost direction. So, I have found a buried, well, a wrecked ship. Still have not found home. Horses cannot go in boats. Mm. Right as its head gets under the water, I can crouch, let it resurface, grab it. This is a lot faster. It's still ridiculously annoying, but... As long as I can get home, because I kind of want to move now, but I will save that for later. I'll work on stuff now. Okay, we got a ruin portal. Well, there's the chest. I will... I just need one more, and then I'll be able to make a portal. Which can be a next episode thing. If I could ever make it home! Two thousand years later. I finally did it after a ton of wandering. I have found so many. I was going to save all the finding the new biomes for a later episode, but I found them all today. I found a plains biome, a birch forest, an oak forest, an old growth taiga. Taiga, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. That was an adventure I did not want to take, but I did, and we are here now. We need one more obsidian. The one part of my outfit that I did not have. I now have achieved pantaloonies. That we're pretty, pretty set here at the moment. I'll bring the horse inside. I'll make it a stable later. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Pretty comfortable. And I think this is a great place to end the first episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.